you can access that potential, that truth, and enjoy it all the way around. It, when you enjoy it and surrender, it actually comes faster. That's the irony. People say, oh my gosh, how do you do so much? Because I get out of my own way. I spend most of my energy and free will trying to regulate my ego to get out of my own way, live in radical humility, be of service, provide value, and help others. Right? That's the secret. That's the secret. All right, let's get to work. Don't hedge your way into the stuff, you're gonna hedge your way right out. Don't hedge your way into this business. You're gonna get hedged out eventually. Right? You can mitigate all the risks and do all this other stuff and you know not figure it out and then you go to blame, shame, and justification and tell me why it didn't or didn't work. Don't hedge. You know, it's funny, the easiest thing that I see to change is accountability. Living above the line, not in blame, shame, and justification. Accountability is so important, but part of the accountability equation is the way that we set expectations. And uh, I have a story about this baseball uh, plate is 17 inches, and what if every time a pitcher, whether it's in little league, in big league, or college, or minor league, or even major league, if they couldn't hit the strike zone, do we expand the plate beyond 17 inches? The answer is no. And why don't we hold other people accountable and hold our, our plate, our home plate at 17 inches? You know, we constantly bend and really entitle those and lower the expectation and let them live in blame, shame, and justification. You know, I say stand up, hold your 17 inches, don't change it. Hold people accountable and be accountable yourself. Ask yourself two simple questions. What did I do to attract this to myself and what can I learn from it? That's why I created uh, the Entrepreneur uh, Playbook that I'm launching. But most importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Who would you like to see on the playbook? We are in the inner, inner circle of sports, entertainment, and business. We will have whoever you'd like. So make your request, subscribe to The Playbook, Entrepreneur's Podcast, launching today. Stigmata. So now the interesting thing that's happened in marketing now is that we've transcended straight marketing and it's the reason that I have all these guys here. It's all marketing, right? I'm an endorser for Dell, so I throw on a Dell t-shirt. Now, I could report back to Dell. I could come up here by myself and I could, and I would, because I'd love to speak and help people to inspire them to get what they want. And I would have a great time in this class, volunteering my time but I'd lose the real value for me beyond helping you and being of service. The real value is now today giving and sharing the emotional experience, right? I could go and tell, they could put, oh, Dave Meltzer spoke at CSUN to the business class about marketing and blah, blah, and nobody would really get the feel of it. It would be over promotion, it wouldn't align, it vibrates lower, but I'll tell you what's working now is you bring these things here, right? And they go ahead and they videotape me walking from the car and at meeting before this and going to the class. And then they take all of these little clips and they turn it into a 30 second spot tomorrow morning. So they'll edit it tonight. And then they send that 30 and 60 second spot to your professor who gives it to all of you who then are part of the video. And you're sitting there going, oh, I got his book and he signed it, I loved it. And he was a great speaker and this. And then you guys post it everywhere and post it everywhere. And all of a sudden I take what used to be, oh my gosh, I'm just doing this for my own philanthropic ways to inspire 30 you know, young people to, to learn about marketing to actually a great business tool. Understand, am I marketing idea, am I marketing access, or am I marketing a medium of exchange? Sometimes we have to know all of them because you can have great ideas, but if there's no way to access it, what good is it? Thank you guys very much. Yeah, right now. Yeah, thank you, whatever you need. Thank you guys. It's 11 o'clock Eastern time. Well, at least tomorrow I get to wake up at five. Oh, I wake up at four, but go to the gym at five. Appointment done, go down to San Diego for an interview. Drive back up to Long Beach, Red Eye Inn, and start work on Wednesday.